Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. As promised, I'm joined by Elspeth today for her What mm -hmm. I've Been Sewing video. And she's pulled in all the bits and pieces that you've been sewing since the beginning but, of the year. No, 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 just this summer. Just this summer. It's too much for the beginning of the year. You've done loads. Yes. So we've actually split it into two videos. So this one is your indie patterns. This is Tilly Sew Over It patterns yes Tilly and sew over it patterns yes and so we'll begin so Sean made me do this <laughs> because when she came to teach the Annette tote bag she yes. was wearing one of she her was. eve dresses and so we got a chance to try it on so and that nice. is so helpful because I would I'm never not, have made it otherwise. I wouldn't have made it looking no. at the pattern but I felt so good in hers yeah and so I've made my own give us a twirl then and it's lovely and it was not expensive this goes from Walthamstow Market, from Saeed's Fabrics, wasn't it? No. No? When was this? Was from, oh, it wasn't Goldhawk Road. No, no this, right, was, this was Walthamstow. Was Walthamstow. Market. It wasn't Saeed's Fabrics, was it though, not but Saeed? it was two it was pounds a metre, and you didn't even have to ask. Just. It was 2 50 a metre. Yeah. You took one look at it, and he said, oh, two pounds. Yeah, he knew no one else was going to buy it. So. <laughs> it cost you six pounds for that dress. And well, it's considerably gorgeous. more, because you have bound it, haven't you? I have bound it all round with gorgeous, gorgeous satiny binding and the hem as well and all round the hem which makes it hang nicely and heavily and we follow Sean's advice me. didn't we excuse go, me. go and show them closer excuse me excuse me flash your innards there's there's i'm just flashing my french seams here and and my bit of burrito burrito and there's french french seams everywhere where can i find you a french seam to look at that's a, that's a French seam. That's a French seam. You see, even the armholes are put in with French seams. It's just class, this dress. It is. It but is that's, that's charm for you. She yes. will only do things beautifully and perfectly. And she's, she gave us both all the advice, didn't she? Yeah. She's asked all our, answered all our questions. Yeah. And you'll see my version that I've made mm. um, in my next What I've Been Sewing video. And I love it. Really it just feels so nice. With it. Really, really chuffed. And I happened to have Matching shoes that matched. Are you going to make another one? Might well do. At some might point. well do. Not immediately because it's more summery feeling. Yeah. I might try the three quarter do, sleeve um, one. Sean's going to do a hack. One. She wants to put some bishop sleeves on one. No, it's not for me. No. They're from my childhood or my youth, though, so they, they <laughs> feel more old. fashioned. <laughs> no, I might try the three quarter sleeve one. I quite yeah. like the idea of that for an autumn wintery one. Fabulous. Well, whip it off. And show <laughs> us what you've been making next. <laughs> Now, I can't remember what this is called. This is called Romy. Romy? Where did I put Romy? I've just found it just now. Here, there. Here. Yes. Tilly and in the buttons. Tilly in the buttons. Hello? Yes, it's getting there. Tilly in the buttons, Romy. And I decided because I wasn't so I tried to make this and it was a disaster. You made a, just the top. <laughs> oh, because I didn't read you know, the instructions. You didn't like use the, the wrong knit. <laughs> yeah, you used a really light knit, I think. Yeah. I decided because I'm never sure of what knits are going to be right. I thought I would actually invest in one of Tilly's pack the kit, kits. And it wasn't expensive. No. It's beautiful fabric. It came with the, the clear elastic you need to do the back. Yeah and so on and it just it's lovely i love it i love I the really back i love it I'm a little twirly whirly come back come back <laughs> i'm coming back keep coming stop I there we go so you can see you've got a really lovely okay. little tie on the back there it all sits in really nicely it fits yes. really good it yeah. fits good it does it fits good does it, it? Fits good. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to teach Claire some English grammar one day. <laughs> I've already taught, taught them about Lego and Legos. <laughs> it fits really well. It fits Thank beautifully. you, Tilly. Another beautiful pattern. And again, she's just, her instructions, we've yeah. said this before, are absolutely faultless, and aren't it, they? Even something that was quite complicated, the back, it all fits together perfectly. The, the, you know, the, the notches are in the right place and everything, and it just it's been properly drafted. I haven't sewn it brilliantly. I've been I've stretched this a bit. Yeah. I think as I sewed I think it, that's easy to I do. want to do another version of it and be more careful because I'll know better that what I'm doing. That her then. jersey that I've got from got given that would, be, would nice. be nice because yeah. that's not going to stretch out shape. No, no, it would be good. No, so nice I'm one. very happy with this, and I shall wear it lots, sort of. Summer and, and autumn and spring. Yeah. Give us a twirl then. Give, give you a twirl. Twirly twirl. twirl. Beautiful. Not wearing the right shoes. No, not not really. wearing the right coloured undies. But don't let's worry about that. Another Tilly. Another Tilly. Stevie. 
the summer of the ties at the back but actually this is my second stevie i made one last summer that was so lovely I like the when one you've been swimming last year which was just a sort of self-patterned almost chambray dark blue chambray but i fell for this fabric i couldn't resist this there's dragons there's damsels in distress there's a knight in <laughs> shining up in there's, see the, there's a knight in shining up there's a what in distress there's damsels in distress there's damsels in distress. In this dress. There's oh, damsels in, the, oh. in this dress. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and it's lovely for slinging on when you've been swimming and you want to just sort of cover up at, after you've got I do. I do like before. it, as in it fits you really nicely and it's a nice make, but I can't help but think you need to go for a job in the paediatric ward. But perhaps I don't <laughs> belong in a paediatric paediatric ward because it just looks a bit like scrubs. But it's only because of the fabric. Yes, yeah, I just love it. I just it's it's or really. Or maybe you're going to have an operation because you've got the tie on the back. Tilly, I don't think it's to do with having operations. I like this fabric. I love this dress. I shall make another one and then I shall beat up Claire. All right. <laughs> Next! <laughs> Are you exhausted? I'm exhausted. So over it. Ultimate trousers. That's gold foot road fabric. I resent the fact that I don't look like that when I've made them because I haven't got them. I don't think anyone looks 19 like 19 inch waist. <laughs> it's not even a 19 but, inch waist, it's like a 2 inch waist. But I, I found this fabric in Gold Hawk Road's last they're really beautiful. When was it? When Laurie came over? Laurie Ann. Ann came over. Spring? Autumn. Last autumn, wasn't it? It was last... Yeah, I think it was October. last last autumn sometime. And saw this fabric and couldn't leave it there, I'm afraid. Let me zoom in. And it's been waiting and waiting and I finally got round to sewing it. Let me zoom in on your legs. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> One sec. There we go. If you can ignore the cable trailing along the background. But they are beautiful, like big paint splodges. Give mm. us a twelve. Oh, I just love it. And Claire and I both, when we've done ultimate trousers, we don't do the little narrow waistband. We do the double we do double width of the waistband. Yeah. Because we both like it if it's I up like a, bit a higher higher. waist. I haven't got yeah. this quite right. I've got it a bit loose at the waist. But have you got a zip in there or did you not bother? Yes, no, yeah. I've got a zip in because it's not really stretchy. Sometimes if you get really stretchy yeah. fabric you don't actually need yes. a zip, do you? But then they're lovely. Just really did you change them at all? Um, not that I remember, no. No? No, I can't remember doing so. Probably did, I think you might have done the seams on the um, calves a little bit loose. Ooh, kicked the tripod over. Oh yes, I could well have A little bit looser because they are quite calves. tight on the yeah. calves otherwise, have, aren't they? I have quite chunky calves that yeah. don't always No, in. they're great. You can only really wear those with a black t-shirt though. I yes. think anything else would just yeah. be too much, wouldn't it? No, no, this is black t-shirt and my leather jacket and then I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be with these shoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next! So then you've got some other bits and pieces that aren't garments that you've been sewing. Yeah, and these now, the others were all just me playing at the studio. These are now, this was a class. Dear Sean came and spent a day with us making these Annette tote bags. Yeah, that wasn't the one you made this in class. This is the one I made in no. class. This is the second that I made because it was such a nice bag when I'd done it. And I loved having the, I've got the big strap that's um, adjustable that I could, so I can put it over my shoulder, across my body, whatever. You had that as your hand luggage, didn't you? And, and we went that to Utrecht. Utrecht as my handbag stroke hand luggage and it's gorgeous. Inside it, I have Claire and I oh, together matching. made ourselves our matching NCWs. And some necessary clutch wallets. Which are just gorgeous and it's absolutely matching. Have you got your gold AA card in there? I've got, <laughs> I got to a shop in Utrecht or somewhere or Amsterdam and thought, I'll pay for this with my visa card. And I have a gold visa card. But when I actually looked in my purse, what was in there was my gold <laughs> AA card. So. <laughs> Uh, and that didn't work, funnily enough. Um, <laughs> I have to, Claire, 
takes me. She's my mind. She runs my way. She, she takes me to these places. Anyway, that was with Sean as a gorgeous course. This was just me and Claire. And then Beautiful Things is Sewing Club, Silver Club. Which you're a member of. Which I'm a member of. I have been very slow at getting projects done. But this one I took with me to Joanne Les Pins on holiday with all my bits and bobs, bits and bobs and sun cream make makeup. I've got it. makeup now on the lining of it and so on, but that can wash. Yeah. Um, it's so nice. This you zip up your your makeup, your sun cream, your bits, your knickers if you want, your mm. everything else in there. I put my tea bags in mine. Roll it all up. Claire had goodness knows what in hers. When you get there, you tie these to a hanger. hanger and it's there hanging and you just reach in and unzip and reach what you want. So that was, it took me a while to get round to it, but it was yes. a really worthwhile make that. And that's a, that's a pattern that I designed. That's, so. Yes, that's a Claire original that it one. It is, you can only do that if you're a member of the sewing club. Yep. And it's worth joining just, just for that you and these that I'm about to show doors you. Doors open again at in the beginning of January, Do so the right. new year, so it's, watch it's, this space. It's really good fun. It's And these, I've got one. Oh, you've used lots of these, haven't I've you? I've got two. I've got three packing cubes, right? Now, all made out of scraps. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> There's your scraps. That was Stevie. <laughs> that um, was Stevie. This was my other Stevie, my original Stevie. And that's nice. I like that one. I love these because... When you, you've got your handle, you roll up all your undies or your socks or your t-shirts, you shove them all in, you zip them all up, you put the whole thing into the suitcase, inside everything's bound, all the seams are bound. Again, this is another so pattern nothing, that I designed. Nothing catches on anything. Um, and I took to Utrecht, I took the little one and one big one, and I had t-shirts, I had a dress, yeah, I had my shoes in here, I had three days, days worth, four days worth of stuff in these two, including my... Um, Wait, oh, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> including, including gym jams and all that. And it's so quick and easy and nice Even and my neat mum's for got packing. packing cubes, isn't and she? I just, I found I, I packed so much better and I had so much more space than normal. So, and... More to the point, you can use up leftovers of leftovers other things, of and I love things. And this old Stevie is actually bound with uh, more up-to-date Stevie, because I had masses of that to make binding leftover. with. I didn't have enough of this for binding, so I just used it. And also, when you've got dressmaking fabrics, quite often, you don't... So if you were using like quilting cottons, you can put your scraps into like quilty projects. Mm. But if you've got dressmaking scraps, you don't tend to then make anything with them. They just no. sit around. But you can use like your dressmaking yeah. fabrics for this. Can't yes, you? this was the remains of of your drawstring backpack. Yeah, but you I made. had that as the contrast fabric on my drawstring backpack. So those are magic. Well, there you go. So, so you've been busy, busy. I've been a busy girl. Okay. So yeah. I think we're going to have to do a secondary video. Okay. That you can see a little bit later on this month of Elspeth's other mates because this is all your indie stuff mm -hmm. and the sewing club and bits and Claire pieces. Original Claire stuff. Originals. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to some do commercial some commercial stuff. patterns so we'll yeah. do another one. Okay. All right. Yes, Thank you very much for joining me Elspeth. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what she's been busy making. We'll see you all again soon.